Welcome back to the Lumio Post, where we talk about all things Pokemon, and today we're going to be talking about the uh, new evolutions that we got in Paldea, and specifically just some interesting things about them. Uh, so, first off, obviously, let's name the new evolutions, uh, where you're talking about pure cross-gen evolutions, not regional evolutions. So, Claude Sire is sitting this video out, but we are talking about uh, Annihilate, Farigarath, Dudunsparce, and King Gambit. Those are the ones that, you know, truly evolve this gen. So, it seems that they might be doing with these Pokemon what they did with the Hisui evolutions, in the sense that these evolutions might be locked only to about Paldea, which, you know, isn't great. Like, I, I kind of hate that, but I, I guess I can understand it. You know, it's their way for explaining why Primate hasn't evolved before now or why Girafferig hasn't evolved before now. Probably in future games, Primate won't be able to learn Rage Fist and uh, Girafferig won't be able to learn Twin Beam. Dunsparce won't be able to learn, uh, what is it, Hyper Drill. And then B Sharp probably just won't have the Leader's Crest item. Uh, and there won't be like leader B sharp. I guess that would be what they do. Uh, but the reason I think this is because when they first announced Farigraph, which was the first of these cross gen evolutions to get revealed, they said Girafferig in Paldea can evolve into Farigraph. And that just, you know, kind of to me implies that this is an exclusive thing to Paldea. So, uh, there was a video I did recently on just kind of cool Scarlet and Violet theories that you guys had, and uh, there was one that I really, really liked, and it comes from Jan, who said that the reason these Pokemon may have evolved, or specifically why Primeape and B-Sharp may have evolved, is because of uh, other Pokemon that they're sharing the environment with. Specifically, you have uh, B Sharp sharing the environment with Tinkatuff, who is known to fight B Sharps and Ponyards to take their metal. So it makes sense that B Sharp had to evolve further to be able to, you know, hold its own against Tinkatuff and presumably Tinkaton. And specifically, King Gambit is supposed to be a leader. That's why it's like sitting menacingly in the chair, like watching over everything. So B Sharp had to evolve into a leadership position to be able to outsmart these Tinkatuffs, to be able to, you know, uh, coordinate attacks or defenses uh, to help not get it and its fellow Ponyards destroyed by Tinkatuff. And I, I really like that. And then with Primate, the explainer here was that uh, it has a rivalry with Ursaring and Halucha, so it may have evolved a little bit further in order to combat Ursaring and Halucha. And you could take that a little bit further and even say, Primeape, when it evolves, it gains the ghost typing. Well, that would make it where it is immune to Ursaring's normal type attacks. And while it is still weak to Halucha's flying type attacks, it now is immune to its fighting type attacks. So perhaps it developed this typing through evolution as a defense mechanism, you know, very similar to what happens in real world evolution. So the question is, why Farigarath and why the Dunsparce? What, what's causing these Pokemon to evolve? And that's that's what we're going to get into today. So first we're going to look at Girafferig. Now the interesting thing about Girafferig is that when it evolves, it doesn't change typing. And same for Dunsparce too, for the record. Girafferig, a normal psychic type, evolves into a normal psychic type. So why did it do this? Well, uh, there's a number of reasons I could see this being. Uh, now, Girafferig is sharing an environment with Squavit and Greedent. You know, it's living in the same region as them. So maybe this is simply it had to get a longer neck in order to reach the trees. Or it could be there was some kind of uh, territorial struggle that kind of made it have to evolve further. Or what I like most is that here in Paldea, there's, you know, it's it's a vast open world. It's it's a little bit different from the other environments we've been able to find Girafferig. And so because of that, perhaps the tail here and the head are budding heads, if you will, a lot more often than normal. And so they had to evolve to literally work together. You know, I, I that's an explanation I like. Maybe it's a little cheesy, but I, I like that idea of by finally like getting along they would evolve together what would be really cool honestly is if like in dlc they brought mawile back and we saw mawile go through the same thing where like its head is now like in like 
where it can clamp over its own head you know that that'll be really neat i i think that'll be cool but they'll probably never do that because we have mega mawile but either way i love that concept of them having to just work together and finally being able to evolve from that and that leaves us with dunsparce and dunsparce it's interesting because dunsparce has you know two different forms as an evolution a two segment and a three segment so what causes that is kind of beyond me it's it's very random you know in the games it's just the three segments more rare so i'm kind of thinking that this three segment form is really just a mutation like it's it's a rare mutation that can happen into dunsparce similar to like albinism and real world animals but it is like if you want to be technical it's true evolution is the two segment form now, why does it evolve? I could see this being a result of the soil in Paldea. The soil in Paldea is something else that is like guaranteed. I mean, Herba Mystica is found here. And not only that, but also, you know, Area Zero clearly has a very different environment. And if that's an Area Zero and they believe Herba Mystica may have come from Area Zero, you know, because it was said that it was grown in Area Zero and then grown in other places, it's very likely that it's the Herba Mystica in the soil that's causing Dunsparce to access a hidden new evolution. Uh, further proof of this is, if you go around the region, you can find Wild Dunsparce. But the only place where you can find Wild to Dunsparce is in Area Zero, which again, is supposed to be where Herba Mystica came from. So I imagine that's exactly what it is with Dunsparce. It is literally being able to access hidden ingredients of herba mystica in the soil you know you figure it's a digger which means it probably is eating dirt and so it is eating this dirt and getting herba mystica in it which allows it to access this new power of hyper drill which allows it to evolve this could also be a thing of maybe the soil is a uh, firmer and harder to dig through because of the Herba Mystica in it, and so, or whatever's in it that allows Herba Mystica to grow, and so Dunsparce has to learn Hyper Drill to be able to drill deeper into it, and thus by learning that, he is able to evolve as well, also helping him dig further into it. But I definitely think Dunsparce's evolution is tied to Herba Mystica. Now, to recap, that means that Primate, it evolves from environmental pressures from Halucha and Ursaring. B Sharp, evolves from environmental pressures from Tinkatuff. Girafferig evolves because something in the habitat, I don't know what, if you want to add to this one because this is the one I'm most stumped on, please do in the comments below, is evolving due to some kind of external thing forcing the two heads of Girafferig to work together, and Dunsparce is evolving because of the Herba Mystica in the soil. Let me know what you think of this in the comments below. Also, again, if you have a better explainer for Farigraph, please let me know in the comments below. Um, that one's one that I have just been, I've been thinking hard on, I've been studying up on it, and I still just can't find a perfect, like, oh, that's it, reason for it. So, if you have one, let me know. Be sure to also like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. If this video gets a lot of likes and a lot of uh, views, comments, all that stuff, then it might be worth it for me to go and take a look at the Hisui evolutions and do it for them, and also just do this down the road when we inevitably get more cross-gen evolutions in the future. And also... By subscribing and hitting the bell, you don't miss our future videos. So that's that's a pretty good thing for you because we got some cool stuff coming. And until next time, I will see all of you later.